Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. I had a lot of requests for uh, honey, okay, raw honey versus pasteurized honey. So let's just talk about it. It takes 60,000 bees, 55,000 miles to make one pound of honey. And then we steal their honey, okay, and we give them sugar water. It's just terrible. But honey, in the right form, is very antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory. Uh, and especially if you mix it with a little apple cider vinegar and lemon and water, uh, you know, it can help you. Anti-allergy. Why? Because it has pollen and has other factors that really will help build up your immune system. It even uh, can lower blood pressure, and it has B vitamins, magnesium, calcium, potassium. So basically, it's a sweetener that has a lot of good stuff. However, it still has 50% fructose and 50% glucose, which means it can slow down your weight loss, and it does have a relatively high glycemic index. Now, there are certain types of honey, especially the Tupelo honey, that is much lower um, and it's used for diabetics in small, small uh, amounts. So if you want to consume honey for certain health reasons, uh, the, the version that I would consume would be the Manuka honey, okay? Uh, find that because it, it's a really unprocessed raw honey that has a lot of great properties. But here's the thing, make sure your honey is always raw and it's not pasteurized. Why? Because when they pasteurize it, they cook it, they destroy everything in it, so now you're just getting pure sugar. Um, now, yes, it's true that if you're, you're not going to give raw honey to a baby because there's a risk of getting botulism. And by the way, my son, when he was six months old, got botulism, not from honey, from some other source, but it can be very, very scary and dangerous, so you don't want to give small infants, but if you're an adult, you can get away with it very easily. But, uh, so my overall impression of honey is that it's really the quality, make sure it's raw, and, uh, and go ahead and uh, have some if you're trying to improve your allergies or your immune system and you want to do this on a, um, like a periodic basis. All right? Thanks for watching.